guys, what is up? So it is a little dark right now. I just got off of work. I worked a little bit of OT today, but I came home and I can already see out by the front door, there's a package that I have been waiting on. I've wanted this for years now and I'm finally getting it. So I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna grab the package, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna open it. And like I said, I'm really fucking excited for this shit. Yes, dude, I'm so fucking happy. So the Euros just came in and being the preventative person I am before I put these on the car, I'm going to ceramic coat them. Adams Polishes actually came out with these new Adams ceramic trim and headlight coating wipes. Uh, I use them on the headlights. They actually work amazingly well. So I'm going to be coating them with that and then we're going to be using the coating prep uh, to ensure that everything applies properly. But I really want these ceramic coated to keep them nice prior to installing them on the car. So the entire point of the coating prep there is just to clean the surface, get any contaminants off so that the ceramic coating will bond properly. So you'll just spray down either the body panel or in this case tail lights, and then just kind of wipe it away, ensuring you get all of it. So again, it's an uncontaminated surface when you go to actually apply the ceramics to them. Take the ceramics wipe, open it up. This is gonna be a one-time use wipe, so you gotta do it decently quickly. It's supposed to cover a four by four area, so there's our wipe. Let's get to work. You just wanna make sure that you're covering every crevice while you're doing this because you don't want to miss a spot and then have that one spot of your light that is not ceramic coated. And we're going to let that sit for two minutes or so before we wipe it off. Basically what you're waiting to see is just like with any other ceramic coating, once you apply it, it's going to start to get like a little haze, uh, almost like a little rainbow kind of effect. It's, it, it's kind of similar to how wax works when you put wax on a car. Once you see the haze or the rainbow effect, you know that it's good to begin to wipe it off because this isn't something that you just want to wipe on and leave on because it will cause streaks. So I see my haze starting up over on this light over here. So I'm going to go to town getting the ceramic wiped off. And then we're going to let these sit and cure for the next couple of hours. And I'll probably end up doing the installation on these tomorrow morning. Wow. 
What is going on everybody? So I've waited two days now actually because I didn't feel like installing these late at night on a Friday. So as you can see down on the ground down there, we've got the Euros, they were ceramic coated now. So now it's time to get them on the car. All right, let's get the trunk open here. And I've got the subwoofer there, so I'm pretty damn sure that's gonna have to come out. I know I've got to pull the trunk mat here. And then you've got those little plastic locks. Take all four of those off. Two more of them right over there. I'm gonna start disassembling the trunk and I'll get back with you guys when we're actually putting the lights in. As you can see the subwoofers out now and I've got pretty much all of like the interior trim and stuff pulled away from here so now all it is to undo these four bolts right here and the two that are back down there and then we'll be able to slide these puppies out and slide the new euros in All right, so I have not tightened it down yet, but as you can see, there's one stock tail light, and then there's one Euro tail light. Like, <laughs> I've wanted this for so long, and they look so fucking clean. Like, Jesus, dude. All right, well, I'm gonna finish putting the other tail light in over there, and then I'll show you how they sequence. All right guys, what is up? So the camera battery died. So here we are on another day filming again. As you can see behind me, I've got the hazards flashing and I kind of just want to show you a couple of the different modes that these lights are able to do. So I'm going to take you inside the car now. I'm going to show you how you change the modes and then we'll come back out and see how the lights have changed. All right guys, so if we go inside the car here, changing of the modes is actually a little bit weird. So I'm going to turn the flashers off here. What you do is you turn your accessory power into the on, then you press the brake in, and then I'm gonna flick this over here, the number of times that I want the mode to change. So it's four plus whatever number, and there are five different modes. So I'm gonna go to mode six. So I'll flick this four plus two, and then switch the hazards on for two seconds, and I'll show you how everything changes in the back of the car. So, now I let the brake off. I'm gonna turn accessory power off, flick my hazards back on. Let's get out and go take a look at how it changed here. So you can see it's no longer sequencing in the back, it's just flashing directly to three ambers. Before it went sequence one, two, three, one, two, three. Now it's just a solid flash. Let's go see what the other modes look like. So you can see this mode now no longer has the red backlight for the tail lights when the flashes are on, so it's just Euro sequencing. I think these things are really cool. They look fantastic on the car. And as you can see, they've got a little bit of different functionality so that you can customize it a little bit further than just having the Euro tails themselves. 
Uh, I'll drop a link down in the description below for the guy's Instagram, who you can order these from. And as far as I'm concerned, these are awesome. They look and fit great, and they completely change the look of the car. All right, guys, so like I said before, I absolutely love these things. I think they look fantastic on the car. They absolutely change the look. They've got a lot of different features. If you guys are interested in them, down in the description below, like I said, I will drop a link to the Instagram so that you guys can purchase them. Uh, as always, follow me on Instagram. If you like the content, subscribe here on YouTube. I know I've been inconsistent with things in the past, but I'm about to change that.